the iMac 27 supports target display mode, which is pretty much using the iMac 27 as a monitor. Uh, I'm going to include that one as well on this column. So pretty much there's, th there's three ways, uh, um, there's many ways you can uh, use these devices together. So first of all, here we have an iMac 27 target in target display mode, cinema display, and Thunderbolt display. And I'm going to create two sections, one with the uh, no hub, pretty much the, the, this is the Thunderbolt hub, and here we're going to have the Thunderbolt hub. Okay, so without the hub, the way you would connect the MacBook Air, so this is your iMac, and this is your MacBook Pro or Air or whatever, you would pretty much connect the iMac with a display port cable straight to your MacBook Air, and then you would bring in power from the wall and hook up the power to the MacBook Air. And then you would attach a, let's say, a USB hub for your devices. And then you would use the command F2 to get the iMac into target display mode. With a cinema display, it's pretty similar. The only difference is that the cinema display already has a built-in hub in the back where you can plug in your devices, the, similar, the same devices that we have here. The cinema display you would plug in directly into the MacBook Air via the display port for display purposes. And you would also attach the USB cable that comes with the uh, cinema display. And it also has an integrated power cable. So it's a nicer solution, but you still have three points of connections on the MacBook Air. One for the display port, one for the USB for, to activate the iSight and, and, and this hub back here, plus the power cable. Okay, the Thunderbolt display is a little better because it has, again, the MacBook Air. It has one Thunderbolt cable Okay, which automatically activates and acts as a feeder for the rest of the devices in the back. Plus, you have the one power cable in the back. This power cable comes from the Thunderbolt display and connects directly to your MacBook Air. Now, this, this is the scenario most people are pretty much discussing or thinking about today. And they're saying that the, the Thunderbolt display is the ideal one because you have one less cable to plug in. And, of course, it has the HD camera versus the iSight camera and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to explain how you can achieve the same results of the Thunderbolt display uh, using either Cinema or the iMac. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and draw the iMac display again here. Okay, and then we're going to have the MacBook Air. Now the MacBook Air, in the very near future, as soon as uh, Apple... Uh, passes the one-year exclusivity that they have with the Thunderbolt and Intel. There's going to be a series of Thunderbolt ports coming out on the market, Th Thunderbolt port hubs. So you can pretty much buy a Thunderbolt hub port, port hub, whatever. Let's call it TB hub. And then you can connect the iMac to the Thunderbolt hub with the display port cable. Okay, this is an iMac with display port, not the iMac with a Thunderbolt, but a Thunderbolt will probably work equally as well. And then this Thunderbolt hub would have ideally some USB plugs where you can plug in your devices, similar to the one on top. And finally, the same power cable you have from the wall. And if you notice, the MacBook Air, when you arrive home, you just plug in the Thunderbolt cable from the Thunderbolt hub plus the power cable. The other, the same thing applies to the cinema display. So if you, if you do the cinema display here, and we have the MacBook Air, and we have the Thunderbolt hub, you have a Thunderbolt cable plugging the Thunderbolt hub, you have the cinema display plugging in the display port into the Thunderbolt hub, and you have the cinema displays USB plug 
plugging into the Thunderbolt hub. And coincidentally, you happen to have the power cable of a cinema display plugging into your MacBook Air. And now in this scenario here, this is almost identical carbon copy to what we have over here. The only difference is that the Thunderbolt hub is external versus the Thunderbolt display having the, the hub built into the back here. There's actually probably even a better advantage. The most li most like more likely than not, the future Thunderbolt hubs will support USB 3.0, which the current Thunderbolt display does not, uh, pre presumably because they're trying to push the Thunderbolt uh, port as opposed to the USB 3.0. And this actually gives you the ability to hook up uh, USB 3.0 devices or even uh, 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 eSATA drives to this as well if the Thunderbolt hubs support that. And of course, the final one, uh, just for the sake of completeness, is the same exact uh, configuration. There's no point in putting a hub, uh, an additional hub, between the MacBook Air and the Thunderbolt display. It's the same thing because we're just going to have a hub here versus, versus a hub here. So these two are exactly the same. So in summary, you can achieve the MacBook Air Thunderbolt display configuration uh, with a cinema display or even an iMac having to connect only two ports similar to the Thunderbolt display uh, provided you have one of the future Thunderbolt hubs that are available and you might actually benefit and get some additional ports like the USB 3.0 or the eSATA drive ports.